So two breaking news stories we're following tonight. The rhetoric really ramping up on this Independence Day Eve about the president's 4th of July celebration. And the DOJ saying they're trying to find a way to have a citizenship question on the 2020 census. Let's bring in Republican Congressman from Arizona, Andy Biggs. Congressman, great to have you. Good to be with you, Mike. Take a listen to Hawaii Senator Maisie Hirono, and I will ask you to respond. Okay. A show of military force, this is what he thinks is going to make him look strong. Quite the opposite. It makes him look, in my view, um, pretty pathetic and someone who has the totally wrong priorities. The 4th of July is supposed to be a national holiday. He's making it not only political, but he's making it all about himself. It's the Trump show, folks. Congressman, what's your reaction? Uh, I think that they protest too much, quite frankly. This is supposed to be, I mean, John Adams said once that this should be a holiday similar to Christmas. And I, I think what the president's trying to do is to pay homage and tribute to the families of, of military uh, servicemen and women and, and the, the veterans that have served. I, I just don't know what the big deal is, quite frankly. Uh, I mean, like the flyovers. How many ball games have you been to when there's a flyover? First game of a college football season, there might be a flyover, or the, or the Super Bowl gets a flyover. I mean, this is not unusual in the history of our country, but because it's Donald Trump, it really, uh, they're, they're so inflamed by anything that the president does that even something that is fairly benign like this is going to ignite him and, and just create this uh, a horrible backlash. Congressman Politico is reporting there's a bit of a panic with White House officials and their allies expressing anxiety, worried they started preparations for the celebration too late. Have you heard any panic from your friends down at the White House? Um, I, I haven't heard panic. I heard concerns that maybe they started too late, but they do expect a great crowd and they do expect to deliver on a wonderful uh, program tomorrow. So they were concerned that maybe they got a little bit late jump on it, but I do think that they're all... They're beyond the panic stage, and they're, in, they're into the groove, and they're ready to go. Then there's the controversy over Nike pulling a July 4th-themed shoe based on Betsy, Betsy Ross's flag. Get this, one liberal voice compared that historic flag to a swastika. Why don't we wear a swastika for July 4th? Because, I don't know, it makes, it makes a difference. The cross burning on somebody's lawn. Why don't we just have a Nike, you know, celebration of the cross? Well, because those, those symbols are symbols of hate. So we can take PC culture back. Congressman, what do you make of that? Uh, it's just that, that kind of rhetoric really doesn't do anything to bring us closer together. I, I just, I, I'm trying to understand how politically correct we've come how a, a flag, a Betsy Ross flag that was put together uh, and put on a tennis shoe is going to create this kind of division in this country today. It says a lot about it, about the weakness of our, of our, of our future. If, that's, if we're going to be so offended that we can't even wear a tennis shoe with a, a Betsy Ross flag on it. I mean, and I look at Colin Kaepernick. I mean, here's a guy who doesn't like the flag. He doesn't like the national anthem. He doesn't like America. And, of course, he's going to uh, project that. And I was really surprised that Nike actually said, okay, we're not going to produce the shoe. I think they were already in production, and uh, they had to pull everything back. And that's a real cry and shame because this is a, a, a flag that symbolized our fight for independence with uh, Great Britain. So it's, uh, it's really too bad. It's a real shame. President Trump evidently has not given up on a citizenship question on next year's census. Any sense of how he could include it? Well, he's, trying, he's ordered DOJ to come up with a way to include it, and he's trying to conform with what the court said. But, Mike, you know what this was about is, is in the Constitution itself. The reason that you take a census is not to find out how many toilets or, uh, you know, stoves or refrigerators or TVs or cell phones you have. It's actually to apportion the voters for congressional districts. That's really what the census was all about, and then it would be transported to the states for legislative districts. If you're counting illegal aliens who are in this country, people who cannot vote because they're here illegally, right. you are actually watering down the votes of people who are here legally. So California gets a disproportionate number of uh, congressional seats and electoral votes for the president than, say, Wisconsin that has far fewer uh, illegal aliens in their population. So it really is a fairness issue to get at the bottom of this. And uh, I think they're really going to try and get this done. It, they're fighting an uphill battle because of the Supreme Court ruling, though.
Congressman Andy Biggs of the great state of Arizona. See you, see you back on the Hill after the break. Thanks, Mike. Appreciate it. Happy, Thanks, happy 4th. Thank you.